lips so pink. Mm -mm. Hold on real quick. Okay, that's much better. Hey, YouTubers! So today is an exciting day. Why? Because my wash and go is like, mm, mm. And also because it is the National African American History Museum opening day. And President Obama's gonna be there. And you know who got some tickets? Your girl got some tickets. So it's just gonna be me and my cousin and a couple of our friends. So I'm about to hop on the metro station and go out there and meet them. And yeah, I'm so excited, guys. Like, I have been waiting since they started building it, which was about three years ago, before I even decided to move to DC. So this is a day that I just like, I can't wait. <laughs> okay guys, so I gotta go to my car. Get my purse. Car's in the back, right? Oh yep, yeah, it is. Okay. Then off to the metro station. Right now it's kind of boring. Hey, Alexis. What's up? Have you been sitting in sugar? No. Because you got a pretty sweet ass. <laughs> <laughs> I told that to Sylvie the other day. She's already cracking up. I wish we could just get in here. I know, but guys. Think about being a college student is like you're broke all the time. Yes. I got a car, but no gas yep. and no money for parking. Like <sighs> my life is a struggle right now. So we just ran to the train for no reason. Sorry, Alexis. <laughs> it was a good guys. You just started going out, so it's okay. She's going to Walmart. Your face? What we do here is go back, 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 back. American Museum. It's packed out here. So okay, guys, so it's like so packed and so busy, and I got lost. So now I gotta go to the other side of the museum to find my friend so I can get my ticket to get in. And yeah, I'm just so excited. Like it being the first. African American Museum and I feel like it's perfect timing because we just had a black president like first black man so it feels good to be a part of history like I definitely do not regret moving to DC I hope you can hear me with all this wind
Look at this. It's crazy. And my friend's not answering his phone, so I'm just like lost right now. <laughs>
Like they took time and effort into that place and I am so happy about it like it's our first one and it's literally so amazing so they have it in chronological order um, so it starts from the basement and goes all the way up I think there's about four floors and you know they did the whole thing like slavery um, they have an actual slave house there they have um, Nat Turner's Bible, like his actual Bible, like it was so amazing. They definitely took time and effort to put that place together. And one of my favorite parts was definitely the one with the music. Um, if you guys uh, watch that part, um, you can like slide different albums and play like a the selection of songs from certain artists. So that was my favorite part like it is literally so amazing like I have to take like time at least two hours in each exhibit when I go so I'm definitely going back um tickets are sold out until next year actually so it's gonna be a while so I'll probably go next year and you know check out the museum but I am so happy I am so happy with the museum it's so good so definitely have to go see it it's the new Smithsonian African American History Museum so oh and the museum is also more than just an African American museum like I was in there and in the um the music section 
they have next to it a, like a culture thing so like the foods that we eat like how do we cook our things and stuff like that and it was literally like amazing they had Jamaican um, a little bit of Jamaican history they had Barbados Haiti and it's like this is awesome because everyone can relate at least people of color like black people of color like you have I have something to relate to now like and it's so amazing because like we have all these museums and this is the first like black people museum and it kind of it, it amazes me because it's like this country was built off of slavery the reason why this country is so, so successful now is because of slavery like it was a business and for us to like not have a museum on that history it kind of you know baffles me a little bit so the fact that they're finally doing this now is like yes like let people know let everyone know like we shouldn't have to you know get this history by word of mouth or the little sample that the history books will give you so definitely happy about that yeah other than that um my life is so busy guys like i got off of after the museum um we ate then i got home i got home around nine and it was time for me to get ready and go to work and get there by 11 so i'm so tired i was like falling asleep on my way to work and yeah it's stressful guys like working a night job and being full-time in school like is not an easy thing and sometimes i ask myself why i do it but then i get my tuition bill and i'm like oh oh yeah <laughs> so i'm like literally stressing myself out to the point where like i'm getting acne my skin's breaking out all the time like because i'm trying to clear up my acne scars but it's like every morning I get this new pimple. Like, what the fuck? But yeah. So I'm starting out this, um, a new lifestyle. Cause it's definitely like not my skincare routine. My skincare routine has been awesome, it's been amazing. In fact, I think that's the reason why my skin isn't as bad as it could be because of my skincare routine. So I just need to like change some things in my life. like. I got a D on my AMP quiz and I literally cried and did not come out for like the whole day. Like I I couldn't do it. So that's one of the things I need to stop doing is stressing myself out, taking it as it is, and like just do better. You know what I mean? Like ugh. Yeah. So I'm also gonna um start making drinks that will help with uh, breakouts so like clean myself out like internally and yeah I think I'll make a video on that because it helps with more than just like clearing up skin but like stress and all that so yeah I'm on my way to big lots nope I'm on my way to giants cuz I ran out of food in my door and I am starving I'll talk to you guys later because it's hard holding this camera and like driving on DC roads. There are literally so bad. So, see you guys next time. Bye!